Hey everybody, what's up? This is Devin Lavore coming at ya. <laughs> you know, you hear a lot of people talk about passion and how you have to have passion and passion's awesome and what are you passionate about? You need to be doing what you're passionate about. What's your passion, you know? And I totally agree with that. You, you gotta have passion. But there are some things, there's some negatives to passion. And the number one thing I think is the biggest negative of passion is you could be wrong. I mean, I went to this, this speaking engagement where this lady said that she had developed a passion for abortion. And, and then she was, because she was a believer at the time and she really regretted what she did and she was in a relationship with God. So she saw what she had done and what she had been a part of. And she, she was, it was a big deal for her to be like, oh my God, what have I done? You know, but it's like you can you can develop a passion for just about anything, you know, and it's like, but if, what if your passion, the thing that you're so passionate about is wrong, then passion is not so great because what you find is you're passionately going in the wrong direction. Not good. Now, the second thing that I think is a negative about passion is that people will often mistake passion for this emotion when really passion is a motivation. Passion is the thing that really motivates you to just go after whatever. You know, you have a passion for golf. So you wake up in the morning and you're just you're working on things and you, you get your golf thing going and, and it's like whatever, whatever it is, whether it's be like, you know, music or writing or your graphic design or building houses or your politics and religion and whatever it is that you're passionate about. But the thing about passion is, is it transcends emotion. It's beyond emotion. It's more of a state of being. It's a more of the, the fuel in your heart that's kind of getting you pumping, getting you going. Yes, there's a lot of emotion that comes with that. Yes, you can be like, you can trigger that emotion, you can trigger that passion and you get emotional about it. And the problem is people, they think that because they have this emotion about something that it's passion can end up doing a lot of damage trying to do this emotional driv driven thing. And it's really not a passion at all. It's just something that you're excited about for right now. But a passion is, it's an enduring thing. Even when you get tired of it, like me as an author, sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. But I'm just like, ooh, I got this really, oh, that's a great idea. Let me, ooh, see, that's passion. It's like, I really love what I'm doing and I just go after it. I really, really enjoy it. Now, the third thing about passion that I think could compete for the number one thing about passion that's a, a negative thing about passion is that people get a passion a true passion for whatever it is and then they think here it is they think everyone else needs to be passionate about the thing that they are passionate about oh my goodness i can't tell you how many times it listen if you want to know the number one thing that you can do to turn people off of what you're passionate about is to carry this vibe this this sense of like not not so much condescension but that can be it too but this sense of like how dare you not be passionate about what i'm passionate about do that and watch people not be passionate about what you're passionate about or they will be passionate about that thing they can be but maybe not with you i can't tell you how many experiences i've had with people and they get upset and they get angry like martha to mary you know the, I, why are you not passionate about this okay you you're a missionary you're passionate about missions that's great Hello, YWAM experience here, but that doesn't mean that every single human being who calls on the name of Jesus needs to be about missions or going to Iraq and Afghanistan and China because that's what that's what really fulfilling the will of God is. Well, that's what feel, fulfilling the will of God is for you, you know, political. I mean, come on now. That's what the whole tension is about politics is we're right and you're wrong. No, we're right and you're wrong. And you know, 
They're passionate about their beliefs and they think that everyone should believe the way they believe because what they believe is right. And I'm just, I have, so, I have this, I have this great passion about saving the lives of chickens. I have a little chicken daughter. I call her Snow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you seen that video? It's crazy. And it's like, it's like, dude, okay, just because you're passionate about something, hold on. Don't step up on your pedestal and now start judging the world for not being good and right or whatever because they're not passionate about the same thing you're passionate about. You know, I've been in businesses uh, with people, you know, helping out, doing all kinds of different things with people in ministry and all that. And they're really upset because people are not flocking by the millions to be a part of what they are a part of and help them and buy their stuff and all that stuff. And it's just like, dude, that's just, you're, you're not, you're not offering something either in business. You're not offering something that people want or people don't know about it yet. That could probably be the problem. And if people don't know about it yet and you're just going through the process of getting the word out and then you get an attitude because people aren't as interested as fast as you would like people to be interested, you're gonna stop what it, you're gonna put such a major halt on what, what it is that you're trying to get people involved in, you know? And it's just like, man, just because you have a passion for something does not mean everyone else needs to have that passion as well. Now, speaking to specifically church people, just because, you know, you might have a prophetic gift and you see things a lot of times before other people see them. You get an understanding and a revelation before other people get it. And then you think, well, everyone needs to know this. Everyone needs to grab a hold of this revelation I have and everyone needs to just start running with it and going with it because it's the truth the lord showed me what it was it was my oh and it's like dude not everybody's gonna catch it as fast as you catch it and then when they catch it they're gonna go at it at their own pace at their own speed it doesn't have to be according to the same level of passion and emotion that you are putting into it you know so that's just a that's just my top three right there on some of the negatives that can come with passion. Now, all that being said, you got to have passion for something. I am one of those people that will ask you, what are you passionate about? Like what motivates you? What drives you? What gets you up in the morning? You know, like because those are huge indicators as to what God's calling is in your life, how he's created you. So I'm, I'm a big in the passion, but there are some negatives. So I thought it'd be good to point those out. So until next time, guys, peace to you. Be blessed. Keep seeking the Lord and knowing the truth. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.